In this video we use Excel to perform the two sample T test and the two sample F test. We have two data samples A and B each with four data values and we start by deriving some basic sample statistics for each sample. So we calculate the mean or average value for A just by using the function average and we calculate the sample standard deviation standev sample for A and we have the size for which we could do the trivial calculation count so we have a for A we have a mean value of 7.6 a sample standard deviation of 0 0.0776 and a size of 4 we can copy those calculations directly down for sample B. We will use a two sample T test to test for a difference between the mean values of these two samples and we will make the assumption that both data samples were drawn from populations that had the same standard deviation. So to get a best estimate of the standard deviation of the population from which the samples were drawn, we will calculate a pooled standard deviation, which is equal to the square root of the sample size A minus 1, and then multiplied by the, the A standard deviation squared, which is up arrow 2, and we'll have the similar contribution from sample B, sample size minus 1, multiplied by the B standard deviation again squared and then divided by the sum of the two sample sizes but minus 2 giving a value of 0 0.0702 we calculate now the T statistic which is quite simply the difference between the two mean values divided by the standard error of this difference which is given by the pooled standard deviation but then multiplied by the square root of 1 over each of the sample sizes uh, which is 1 over i2 plus 1 over i3 giving a t statistic value of 2.42. We can calculate the critical t value, but first of all we have to enter the degrees of freedom, which again is equal to the sum of the two sample sizes, minus 2, and then we can get the t critical from the two-tailed inverse t function and we will have a value of 0 0.05 for the significance going to the probability with the degrees of freedom from b7 gives a critical value of 2.45 and we can see that our t statistic is less than the critical value so this looks as though we should not reject the null hypothesis and there is not enough evidence for a difference between the two mean values. We can present this as a p-value. We will use the two-tailed t distribution. The relevant t-value then is in G6 and again with the degrees of freedom in B7 we get a p-value of 0.052 and this is just above the critical 0 0.05 value for significance. So again, we do not reject the null hypothesis. Alternatively, we could use a t-test function directly in Excel. And this would be the t-test, in which we must identify the two data sets, array 1 and array 2 for samples A and B. We must identify the number of tails in the test, which is a two-tailed test, 
and we must put in a value to identify whether this is a paired test, a test with equal variance or unequal variance. But we have assumed in our calculation that it is equal variance, so this is option 2, and this returns the same p-value of 0 0.052. We can now use the f-test to test for a difference in variance between the two samples, and we start off by finding the degrees of freedom for each sample separately to calculate its variance. So this for sample A is the sample size minus 1 and for variance we will use the sample variance and we just highlight the range of values. We can copy the same calculation down for B. So we have the two sample variances and the F statistic is just the ratio of these variances. And to calculate the p-value, we will use the F distribution. But we are testing whether the F statistic is sufficiently large, which is in one direction. So we will be using the one-tailed F distribution with the upper or right-hand tailed value. We enter the value of the F statistic and the two degrees of freedom. And we had sample A first divided by sample B, giving a p-value for a difference in the variance. And the p-value 0.36 means that we should definitely not reject the null hypothesis. There is no evidence here of any difference between the source variances of these two samples, which actually confirms the validity in assuming that there was no difference between the variances and calculating the pooled standard deviation for the t-test.